Welcome back to a new and also the last Sense and Furious video to VST Mall season 24. And with that, hi and welcome back on my channel. My name is Julia and here on this channel I talk about the mall shows and yeah, the mall of season 24 is Reveal. We finally know who it is. And yeah, Anna is the mall. Congratulations to everyone who had figured that out, who had put points on Anna, and yeah, who had just chosen Anna as their mall. I know that a lot of people did that, the majority of Dutch people at least did, but I also know that a lot of people also were on fonts or on Rosario just as I am. So unfortunately we weren't right this time, but again congratulations to everyone who chose Anna as their mall. In this video here we will talk about all the hidden hints that could have led us to Anna as the mall. A little spoiler may be allowed here, I can tell you we had figured out a lot of them. Then there's also one mall action of Anna which we did not get to see in the finale and of course we will have a quick look at that as well. Then I will also give you a little, um, let's say, my personal feedback about the season, what I thought about it. And then, last but not least, we will also talk about the upcoming The Mall Seasons and Hints and Theories videos. Now let's start with all the hidden hints leading to Anna and that one more action you did not get to see on TV. Um, I talk about these things because they have been published, they have been uploaded in extra videos on the official Vista Mall YouTube channel and also on their official website, but they are not available in English. So that's why I will quickly tell you about what you get to see in those videos, but of course you can watch them either on their YouTube channel or on their official website. Um, I have done it like that the last years as well and I think that was a pretty w good way to do it simply because you get all the information that the trends get as well. Let's start with the mall action which is about the last task and to be honest it is not that surprising because we thought actually that this must have happened. So the last task with the keys and where they had to dive and find the right keys to open the treasure um, there was a more action from Anna there, so the right key which they were actually looking for was called Santa Anna. And Anna, as the more, of course, knew that and that's why she knew she needed to get rid of that specific key. And as you remember the Hints of Theories video um, I published to that episode, uh, I said there, no matter if Anna or Rosario is the more, both of them had the chance to hide the key in their clothes, pockets or in the t-shirt in Anna's case or just throw it away. And the second thing is exactly what Anna did, so she threw the key away. And that was her more action. Now all the hidden hints leading to Anna as the mall and the first and biggest one was recognized by Viz the Mall fans and that one was that the first episode of this season was broadcasted on Anna's birthday, the 6th of January. And not only that, but also they had a happy birthday balloon at the party, at the Dia del Topo party. So that, yeah, was an official hint to Anna as the mall. The next one also was already to be seen in episode number one because if you have a closer look on the tarot cards then you could see hands on those cards with white nail polish on the nails. And Anna had white nail polish on her nails throughout the whole season and to get the focus of the viewers a bit more on the hands the episode also was called in Hansje Helper. But not only that, also this episode title led to the fact that the mall um, shook the hand of all the candidates in the first task at the um, Dia del Topo party. Now the next official hint is a bit more complicated I would say and I personally uh, had not figured it out and I also had not read about it but maybe you had, let me know that in the comments below. Um, and it is about the task with the Frida Kahlo paintings. 
So we had that one Frida Kahlo painting there with all the numbers on it, which were also the codes. But they weren't just chosen randomly, because if you count together all those codes, then you end up with the sum 13,943. And that is where it gets a little bit tricky, because that is the amount of days Anna has lived until the day on which she is allowed to reveal herself as the mole. So the day of the finale. So on this day, Anna has lived for 13,943 days. That's the official hint to her as the mole. Yeah. I did not figure that out, <laughs> but maybe you did. Um, the next one, please. Yeah, the next one uh, was one we had figured out again, that was about the analoge test, uh, about the analog test where we said, okay, you can read it as analog, analyzed. So yeah, we did figure that one out. And also we had figured out the one in the music task, with the symbol B, which stands for minor, being placed incorrectly, so it actually had to be placed on the line, but it was placed between two lines, and with that on the note A, so minor A in Dutch, mol A, so mol Anna. And with that, there have been all hidden hints leading to Anna as the mole, and I think we had all of them figured out except for the one with the amount of days Anna has been alive. And with that, I would say we get to you the little um, feedback, what I think about this season. And I'm also curious to hear what you think about this season, about the tasks, about the mall, about all of it. Uh, so please tell me that in the comments below. I have to say, all in all, I thought it was a great season. I like the group. Um, I like that they picked Mexico as location and the way that they um, try to involve some Mexican uh, cultural uh, things in the whole task and everything. I mean, that's also always something cool about Vista Mall. There were tasks I liked a lot and then there were also assignments which I thought were a bit boring or not really good explained, um, which was a bit sad because maybe there were cool tasks, but then again, really hard for us as viewers to um, fully understand or like get a full picture of it. That was a bit unfortunate, I think. What was cool was that we had three finalists, which possibly could have all been the mole, that made the whole thing in the end more exciting, more difficult, which was cool. What I personally thought is not so nice. And again, this is my personal opinion and it's right after the finale, so maybe I need to think about it for a longer time. But right now, I think it is a bit sad that out of the three finalists, the mall is the one who brought in the most money. And which I really would have liked to get an explanation for was during the task with the canoes and the sentences. So they had to um, get those words out of the water and as we got to see a small action and I threw away a lot of uh, words they could have actually used, which could have been useful. Uh, but then in the end of that task, she helps Font by saying that he could use the word book also as a verb. And only with that, they were able to form the second sentence. Otherwise, they would have only had one sentence and a lot of unused words uh, which then would have meant that they even had to pay some money back to Rick. And yeah, I do get that at some point the production probably wants that the pot gets a little bit higher and that they reach a certain amount of money in the pot. But still, this is such an anti mole thing to do, like the mole is helping earning a lot of money here, or let's say at least not losing that much money, that this was like the point for me where I said, okay, this is such an anti mole thing, such an anti mole action. All in all, uh, there were some great things in this season, and sometimes I think maybe it was a bit too easy to mole, like with the Frida Kahlo paintings, and where she knew which were the correct ones and she could just skip them or with the last key just throwing that one key away and that's it. Um, that's sometimes a bit unfortunate for the candidates because for example in the last task then they did not have the chance to earn a single bit of money. 
But yeah, that's my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And also, I'm very curious to see how it will all develop and take place in the next season because the director will change. Um, so this was the last uh, season of Rick as director and we will see if things change a bit and yeah, if so then in which way. So that definitely gets exciting next year. Talking about changes in upcoming mall seasons, we also, last but not least in this video, have to talk about the upcoming Belgian de Mall and one maybe upcoming uh, new Beast Mall season. So let's talk about the Mall first. Um, the Belgian de Mall will start, I think, in two weeks, which isn't that far away. And if you've been following me here for quite some time, then you know that I've also did hints and theories videos to the mall. Now, my personal situation um, compared to last year has changed quite a bit. And I've been thinking about it in the last days. And I have to be honest and I want to be honest with you guys that I do not know yet if I will be able to make hints and theories videos. Uh, the problem, the biggest problem actually is that um, they always broadcast the episode on Sunday evening, which means that it makes the most sense to do Hints and Theories videos on Monday, Tuesday, or maybe I sometimes even did it on Wednesday if it did not work out earlier. Um, so in the last days I've been thinking about how I could do it, if I could do it, and I have decided to wait if Marika so um, Marika is the one who has the YouTube channel We is the Mall, W-I-D-M, uh, English subs. And in one of her last videos it sounded like she is looking for a solution to do the Belgian the Mall, but you cannot guarantee doing it. And I have decided to postpone my decision to if Marika is going to do the subtitles or not. And if she's able to do it, then I will have to think about how I do it because it at the moment it seems very likely that I will not be able to do one video each week and here is now the part where you guys have to tell me um, if you would watch a video that only comes up every two or three weeks like a hints and theories summary of the last two or three episodes um, this is something I could imagine or then the other option is that I will skip this season and do not produce any hints and theories videos. Um, which of course would make me a bit sad because I love to interact with all of you and read your thoughts and comments and your theories and hints. Um, but on the other hand it would give me a chance to just watch it and enjoy it as a fan uh, without having the whole production here. So. That would also be cool, but yeah, with a sad eye, probably. But then, that does not mean that we will have to say goodbye for a whole year, because there is a chance, and it seems like this chance isn't that low, um, that we will see each other again for a new Vista Mall season this year. Because uh, in one of the Hints of Various videos to season 24, I've already talked about it, um, there has been a lot of hints that there will be a VSMOL season with non-famous Dutch people and it also seems very likely that it will also still be um, broadcasted this year. So maybe we will see each other back in summer or in autumn for another VSMOL season. As soon as there will be any news about the mall or about the V is the mall with non-famous Dutch people, I will tell you about it. Um, so I guess we will definitely see each other back at some point this year. Now, one more thing left for this video here and that is that I have to say a huge thank you to everyone who has watched my videos, has liked, um, has left a subscribe or follow on Instagram and last but not least a special thank you to everyone who has left a comment and some of you are coming back each week leaving comments in novel length and I know I have not responded to every single comment this year um, this season 
but I guarantee you and I promise you I have read every single one. I really do and I really do enjoy reading them and see how you get excited about the whole game and uh, get lost in your tunnels or not and trying to not get too deep in a tunnel and all of that. I do enjoy it so much and um, I really hope that we can keep it up. All that feedback that I get from you, like all the comments, the likes and follows and subscriptions, all of that is um, the motivation for me to keep continue doing that here. So yeah, I hope we can keep that up. So thank you. And yeah, that was it. That were all hints and theories and all hints and theories video to this season 24 of We Is The Mall. I hope you enjoyed watching them just as I enjoyed it producing them. Um, I hope to get your last feedback on this season in the comments below. Also if you have a creative way on how we could do with the Belgian the mall then uh, let me know that in the comments below. Maybe I could just upload a random photo of something <laughs> to give you a space to discuss. Uh, so if you have any creative idea share that with me and with the others. And what else there is to say then, thank you and I hope to see you all back next time, whenever that will be. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the upcoming The Mall Seasons and I will hopefully see you back then. Until then, bye!